The Isle of Man TT Grandstand was the setting as two of the biggest names in motorcycle road racing announced they would be working together at this year's races. 23-time TT race winner John McGuinness will ride a Honda in the Supersport class prepared by fellow racing rival Michael Dunlop. I didn't know if he knew himself that anybody was going to give him a chance to, to ride one again, you know what I mean? And I said, well, I don't know, was, I could maybe build one if it was possible. And we just started ch chatting before we knew it. We were, we were building the 600, you know, so it did come out of nowhere. I, I, st I still don't think he's finished in 600 yet. He's still got, when you're fast, you're still fast no matter what you got. So it's, it's nice to have him in and uh, riding something that, that's hopefully fit to do his job. And we were just having a chat, you know, it was send each other a few daft pictures and have a few jokes backwards and forwards and then I said have you got a spare bike and he was like are you serious and then he said oh, I'll build you one so and that's basically what it is you know it's uh, there's no contracts there's no uh, not too much red tape with it it's just a, a handshake between us and uh, we're gonna go racing my ability to build motorbikes you know some people think I'm not good some people think I'm good it's it's, a, it's whatever you're into I'm happy enough with what I do you know it's nice to get somebody like John's caliper on it too to, to give it a bit of a push and see where we're at I don't think John was getting the, maybe the respect that they thought. They thought maybe because he had been injured he was finished and I felt that that wasn't the case. I felt that, you know, he still deserved that chance. Yeah, I just got the leg over there and uh, <laughs> I got the I got the cage off, what would it be, three weeks ago now. I've had a, the, a little plaster of Paris thing on. Now I've got this, uh, it's come off now, so I'm just at that point where I'm, it was only yesterday it came off, so I'm just a bit nervous about taking the first step you know and you just think it's going to snap off again your leg but it, it won't but it just feels a bit delicate but yeah that that for me is a is a, a huge huge step forward just to throw my leg over a bike in pit lane at the tt i want it to be as good for him as it is for me and if, it, if he can do something on it i'm more than happy so i'll leave that in his hands you may ask him what he's going to do in that four but in that four i'm still going to take the door handles off it anyway so <laughs> uh, we'll have a go I was always a bit heavy with the 600s, but I won two 600 races a long time ago, 2004 and 2006, but I think I'm the fifth fastest man round at over 127, so if I can find that sort of form again, which I'm sure I can, I think anything can happen on a 600 race, you know, if I get on the podium, it'd be, it'd be, be great. Do I think John's going to be fit for the job? I don't know, but I can assure you there's no pressure for me whether if he turns up TT and he's, and he's not, we don't know, you know, until he's, he hasn't been on a bike yet, and I say, if he's not fit, he doesn't have to ride it, bike. At the end of the day, I just, I, I don't know where I'm going to be, you know. It's all about the leg and, yeah. you know, if, if I come back where I was, uh, I don't think I'll be far away. Yeah.